Hey everybody and welcome back to More Than Just a Dog. My name is Kayla and today we're talking about one of my biggest pet peeves in rally and obedience. And it's when people use the phrase, well, at least he got ring experience. Now don't get me wrong, ring experience is actually something that's really important for every dog to get before they enter competition. My problem is that people often aren't intentional about how they get their dog ring experience. Usually the phrase, at least my dog got ring experience, is used almost like a silver lining to a failure in performance. So for example, I've seen it happen where a person has gone into the ring and their dog just genuinely did not understand an entire exercise. And they come out of the ring and they say it's something like, well, I knew my dog wasn't going to qualify today or I knew my dog was going to fail, but at least he got ring experience. I don't understand that frame of mind. I don't understand why you would put your dog in a situation that would set them up to fail. Instead, you should be looking for an intentional type of ring experience. Competing in obedience, competing in rally looks totally different than being in a group class. So ring experience is really important, but setting your dog up for an intentionally positive experience within the ring, that's even more important. So the first step that I like to take when I'm introducing my dog to the ring is I really like to do ring rentals. Now, to be fair, I'm super, super lucky. I happen to live in an area where I can drive about two hours in any direction and hit some club that usually offers some type of ring rental. And that's really, really important for me and my dog. And the reason that I feel that way is because I want them to understand that when you and I go to a new building, we step into a new ring, the job and the game is exactly the same. I'm still going to be super positive. You're still going to find value. I'm going to give them treats. I'm going to play with toys. I'm going to be roughhousing with them because Forrest in particular seems to really, really like that. That's something that's really important to me. So I do ring rentals. That's step one to getting my dog appropriate ring experience. So they recognize that even if we're outside of a group class, all the things that they've learned in those group classes, they're applying here in a solo environment. Step two is to seek out something called fun matches, which Forrest just had his very first fun match just the other day. And I was super, super proud of him. But here's the thing about fun matches that you have to remember as the handler and trainer is that it's a fun match. There's no titles on the line. There's no scores that are given. It's just going out and having fun with your dog but it feels like a competition-like setting. You should take your kennel, set your dog up in the kennel, set your chair next to them, be around your friends, watch other dogs go and take their turns, get your dog out, warm them up like you always do, bring them into the ring, and now they're in the ring. You've, you've already done that ring rental experience, now we're kind of leveling up because they're in a ring with you, but they also have a stranger in there acting as the judge, and they have an audience on the outside because that's what a competition would usually look like. Bring your food, bring your treats, bring all of your positivity with them and make sure that you're asking them to do things that they understand how to do. So if you are doing this fun match and you're super excited because your dog knows like half of the exercises in the open class, for example, then only do the half that they understand. Last week when Forrest went to his very first fun match, he could do the heel on lead, he could do the heel free, he could do the sit, stay, get your leash, but I skipped the stand for exam and I skipped the full recall. He had a ton of fun, he had a really positive attitude, he got treats for it, he had an audience watching him, he got to experience what a competition probably looks and feels like to a certain extent without any of the pressure. So that's step two. Step three is to level up just a little bit. If you have the opportunity to enter wildcard classes, I am a huge proponent for wildcard classes. And if you're someone out there who has the opportunity to set up a trial and offer certain classes, please, please, please start offering people the opportunity to do wildcard classes. There's so much benefit to it. In fact, one of the things I started doing with Maya years ago is I would enter her in wildcard classes. And to this day, I still sometimes do this where I'll enter her into a wildcard class and I'll just do the first or second, sometimes the third exercise in a class. And then I'll just tell the judge, thank you so much. We're done for the day and I'll exit the ring. And the reason that that's important is because she could never predict which exercise was going to be her last. Would we sometimes go out of the ring to get cookies after her first? Maybe. Would we sometimes go out of the ring after the third? Sometimes. Would we sometimes do the entire class and then she would get her reinforcement? Yes. And so she could never predict which exercise was going to be her last one, which means that she gave her all for every single exercise because she knew that there was a chance that she might get reinforcement 
after every single exercise. That was really, really important for our relationship and the way that I manage and handle her in the ring. So I guess at the end of the day, it's not actually the ring experience part that's my biggest pet peeve. It's the way people use the phrase. Please stop setting your dog up for failure and please instead be intentional about the type of ring experience you want your dog to have. After all, it sets the foundation for their entire obedience or rally career. If you agree that ring experience is super important for a dog, do me a favor and just hit the thumbs up button to let me know that you like this video. And if you wanna see more content like this, all you have to do is hit subscribe and ring the bell. That way you get alerted every single time we post a new video. In the meantime, thank you so much for joining us for this one. I hope you liked it. And no matter what you do with your dog next, good luck and have fun. See ya.